Hello, I'm Terry. Do you have a keypad that the buttons have died on it? My house alarm failed that the buttons wouldn't work and this is how I repaired it. Well, the first thing you need to do is disassemble it according to the manufacturer's instructions. When you pull it apart you'll have the main board which has the contacts on it. These are normally not the problem, just make sure that there's no dirt on them. I'm just shining my torch on it so you can see the contacts themselves. Behind each button you'll have a carbon coated little black knob, a little button which will press up against the keypad to make uh, contact. It's the carbon contact on these buttons that wears out. I'll very carefully remove it, place it down over here so we can start doing some work on it and this is how I actually renewed the contacts. This is what you'll need. Firstly you need a lead pencil. It needs to be a very soft pencil. I like to use the 4B. I think a 2B will probably work as well, but the 4B is better because it's much softer. I bought this from Officeworks. You also need some isopropyl alcohol. I bought this from Bunnings. These are the tools I use. Got a glass jar, just an old makeup jar made by Avon. A jeweler screwdriver. A scalpel or a hobby knife. A pair of tweezers couple of paintbrushes and a file. Here's the original pencil profile. You need to take hold of your scalpel or a sharp hobby knife and peel some of the wood back. Here's that lead pencil. I just like to shave it back using the scalpel to give you a little bit more room to be able to work. Just exposing more of the actual graphite. Here's the secret. The graphite pencils are quite conductive. I put it onto the multimeter and there we go. That's why you can use it and why it'll work. I also have an Avon cosmetics jar that my wife gave to be bumped and had run out. Uh, it's just good to be able to put the filings in there once you file down the lead pencil. So go to it, file down the lead pencil until you get a, a good amount of shavings inside the little jar. Be very careful because this graphite from this lead pencil is very very persuasive. It, it will mess everything up. Now we've got a good quantity of shavings in there. Now we want to transfer a small amount of isopropyl alcohol into the, the filings. I'm using a little pair of tweezers. I'll close them up bring it out and just bring a couple of drops at a time in through there. Now mix it together into a slurry. Don't want it to get too wet. It's coming. This looks like it's just about the right amount. Once I've mixed it in it should be pretty good. Take your paintbrush and paint the mixture onto the black carbon knobs. I find the mixture dries out pretty quick so I need a little bit more alcohol just to keep it viable. Repeat it several times. You find it will dry out fairly quickly. Once you've given it several coats, I suggest you then set it aside and let it dry for 24 hours. If you look closely at my repair, you see I've got black on quite a few areas, which are not on the button. That needs to be cleaned off because it's quite conductive and it could short out the keypad. 
So we'll clean it off with a paintbrush and uh, a bit of tissue. Okay, clean it off. Very important, take your brushes and your little bottle outside and clean them outside with a garden hose. If you try and do it in the sink, you'll make the wife very, very unhappy. The washer's out of water. It's also very, very, very messy. That cleaned out and you'll get a fair bit of stuff on yourself as well. It's a good idea now to let it dry for 24 hours and then what you do then just with a single finger take it rub it over the, the little pads that you've painted just to make sure it's nice and smooth you'll get a bit of uh, carbon on your fingers just clean that up afterwards then reassemble it put it back together and test it here's yes reinstall and ready to go that's yeah, going quite nicely you can hear a little beep as you push each one well, I hope this has helped you, you can save yourself some money, have a bit of fun in the process and the good thing about it, because of the nature of the type of repair, you can repeat it again in the future if need be. So thanks very much for watching.